Focus, focus, focus. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah. If you don't subscribe, I'm gonna eat your butt. Oh. Run up on me in that trap, I'm gonna rip your ass apart like a bag of chips. And if you keep talking that shit, then I'm gonna go load up my clip for nigga you shoot. Butterfly nose, space space cool, like UFO. Whoa. Damn, I'm on me, cause my eye real low. That shit is ass. Okay. Nigga said they called me out me cause my eyes real low. That's crazy. But anyways, we got the ground on here, the job is big ass set. Anyways, and today we are gonna be reacting to Family Guy funniest right now, Asian stereotype. Now, Family Guy is no, they not shy to be racist towards anybody. Black niggas, white niggas, they not, they not fucking scared of being racist towards anybody. So today we got the Asian version. I want to see what type of jokes they got. They gonna have a lot of math jokes, I know that. Probably some driving jokes, I don't know. Probably some, oh, they gonna have small dick jokes. I'm guaranteed they gonna have that shit. If they have that, I'm putting that in the intro for no cap. Then yeah, let's get into this shit right now. Oh my god, look at that. Wow, that looks pretty bad. Is the Chinese guy dead? Now there are plenty of people who have had worse days. <laughs> I knew they gonna do the job and shit. Oh, a parking ticket. I was gone five minutes. Could this day get any worse? Nah, Hiroshima is crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this is crazy. Nah, just kidding. As you are aware, Asians are known for their great sense of humor and enormous genitalia and respect for non Asians <laughs> and for being polite. Nah. Yo, I told you they don't have the dick jokes, bro. They never Give me big American food, you fat ugly Kojak bang bang American fat souls. Nah, he's well. Alright, damn, which one's a Chinese one? Number one! That's probably it. <laughs> you don't come back ever! I don't like you American! <laughs> and all you American look alike! Oh, we all look alike, do we? Well look who's talking! It can be hard in this dreamy land of wonder. This nigga is crazy. I can already smell the enlightenment and tranquility. Yeah, is it? Oh. Oh. This is wonderful, isn't it, Brian? It's so tranquil, I'm tearing up. Come on, I think I see a cab with less than nine people in it. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Esther. Bye, overzealous Asian kids. Yeah. Yeah. Have to be the first ones to school tomorrow. <laughs> ah, go away. No time to say bye. <laughs> I pass you because you know Spock. You know Spock. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, that's that real samurai shit right there. And no focus, life over. Damn, I need to cut that shit too. Damn. I say, I seem to have sewn a shoe to my hand. May I go to the nurse? Replace him. Ah! Faster! Um, sumo tonight. Brought to you by Asian well. Drinks. Suey, what? Tweets out the kids. You shall. Ooh. You're watching CBS. Well, I'd finally splurge and buy myself one of those fancy four-piece suits. I'd like to join your country club. I assume that won't be a problem. They got a four and piece. how about you, every Persian guy in the world? Quite BMW! Uh, what's wrong, you boy? Don't be scared of Santa. Come on, Stewie, it's okay. Just sit on Santa's lap. Uh, some people push their kids to do stuff way too soon. Do you agree, Dr. Baby Violet? I really do. I too will be abstinent. I'll be as untouched as the turn signal in an Asian woman's car. How much signal I need to cut across eight lanes? None? I turn now. Good luck, everybody. You ought to fuck somebody up. Oh my god! 
And there's the Vietnam War Memorial. Hey, check out that Vietnamese guy giving a business to those Vietnam vets. Yo, bro. Scoreboard! Scoreboard! Oh, what happened to your friend? Hey, I know that guy. I killed him. He cried like a bitch. Vietnam, I defeated. That Michael Vaughn, that nigga would have to get him. Yeah, he would have to get one, two. And the uppercut, that is disrespectful. Bro, I'm the guy who talked to people. That is disrespectful. You made it. Now twirl that long hair sticking out of your face bowl. And cough. Cough like you never coughed before. <laughs> so what do you think, Diane? Can I cook or what? I'm delicious, Tom. I guess we should be eating her with chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> They're eating Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa. It's crazy. You're just gonna be hungry again in an hour. People can always sense a fraud. Gentlemen. It has come to my attention that there is a Chinese among us. Rest assured, he will be found. Security is launching a full-scale event. <laughs> They're not that eyes. The Theo Dickens is not that eyes. Employees. This man will be found, and there will be dire consequences. Too bad about that Chinese guy, huh? Holy crap, Quagmire, you're famous here. It's American Johnny. American Johnny is back. I take a picture with a giant Samsung phone. Giant Samsung phone is also a tiny Kia car. <laughs> Yo, these yeah, niggas is mad adventure, bro. What the, the fuck? <laughs> Only you think you look good unless you have big round eyes and a tiny little nose and chin. Hey guys. Peter, are you alright? You know what? I feel good. I feel like I want to giggle behind my hand at a lot of things and hold but not eat a big ice cream cone. We now go to Asian reporter Trisha Takanawa for the reaction to our hilarious prank. Tom, I'm leaning here having attempted to die with dignity. If I should survive this, I'm going to slit your throat, round eye. Tom? I doubt. After this Korean commercial, Ashton Kutcher thought no one in America would ever see. Have you ever killed a dog while driving drunk and then been upset that there was no way for your car engine to cook it for you on the rest of the drive home? Right. Well, those days are over. Okay. Thanks to Dr. Lee's pet engine cooking bag. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. I can't remember the last time we went away for the weekend. What do you mean? We went to that Asian magic show. Now, as you can clearly see, I have a pen. Now, watch it disappear. Oh. And now... Oh, let me bring it back! Fresh attack an hour. What are you doing here? Peter, I'm standing here on your front porch hoping to kill that dolphin with this harpoon. Japan! They kill things that we like! Dude, bad news. You're dead. What? But I'm deaf. Sorry, dude. Super deaf. You're done. So, what now? I go to heaven? No. When a death dies, it gets reincarnated. You're being reincarnated as a Chinese baby right now. Girl? Girl. I'm your supervisor. Hey, hey, I promise I'll do better at this job than I did on the SATs. Think about a copy? I swear if you copy somebody. Oh! <laughs> This nigga did race, yo, he got Asian. it. Compact, hairless, and fiercely intelligent. The penises, while tiny, are extremely efficient. We're projecting 10 billion within five years. Also, there'll be different varieties that will all hate each other for some reason. Do they eat just, like, regular food? <laughs> no, 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 the opposite. You're gonna help me get some money so I can get out of this town. Really? Where are you gonna go? I don't know. Somewhere far away. Maybe China. I hear they got NASCAR there now. All right, class, two things today. I'm no good at math, and I don't have a certificate to teach driver's ed, so I hired a math tutor and a driver's ed guy. Okay, so do you use my car, or do you have, like, a special one you brought? Um, I'm the math tutor. Really? No way! <laughs> Yo! Yo! <laughs> My god, I got it. That means you're the driver's ed instructor, yes. Well, I'll be a son of a gun. All right, time to learn math from a black guy, I guess. What I wouldn't give right now for a big, juicy steak. How dare you? To us, cows are sacred. That's right. You're disrespecting our entire culture. And why did Wes Anderson come here to make his worst movie? 
Stewie, what do we do? Quick, hit the red buttons! People there have Get never the seen fuck out of here. So when they walk up to you, quickly stuff a dollar bill in their mouth. Then you can pet them as much as you want. Is that true, Dad? Yeah, truth is, I don't know nothing about this place. I don't even know why it's called Nepal. The mountains look like nipples. Well, you can't just call a country nipples. What about Nepal? Ooh, I like that. God, God gets it right. I finally got something better to do with my Saturdays than sit at the mall and watch Japanese girls laugh at normal conversation. So, I drove to work this morning. <laughs> and I had to stop for coffee. <laughs> so, there's a Starbucks near my house. <laughs> you people are a circus. So this is my town. I have lived here my whole life. Well, if you were born here, then it must be a magical place. Yes, let's go get sandwiches at that new deli I keep hearing about. <coughs> Thanks, Ganesha. <laughs> so you want to be had to buy tickets. Long time coming. I've been roll running, rocking show stunting, smoking on runs and coding for luncheon. Yeah, I put a four with a red in my luncheon. Yeah.